For 40 years, Sesame Street has been brightening the morning for young kids. The show, which educates children in basic reading and math, can even teach children a new language. I used to watch the show every day when I was a child, and my mom only spoke Spanish, so Sesame Street was the way that I was able to learn English. She made me watch it every single day. That's how I learned my ABCs, my 1, 2, 3s. 2, 3, 4. Through the years, the show has had many influential guest stars, including a visit today from First Lady Michelle Obama. Everyone, we are here. Dixie the show captivates young audiences through timeless characters. Uh, I remember Elmo, I remember Ox of the Grouch, I remember Bert and Ernie, and then uh, really the Cookie Monster just because he was always craving cookies. Although I can't tell you how to get to Sesame Street, I can tell you from what I've heard today, the show is still captivating audiences in its 40 year run. And from the looks of it, future generations are looking for those sunny days chasing the clouds away for other generations to come. It's definitely something that I feel like I'd want my kids to watch just because a lot of the shows coming out nowadays are a little more risque and a little more on the edge. I think it's a good learning experience for kids. They go over like the basic fundamentals, the alphabets, the numbers. And for some, there are some underlying lessons to be learned. As a guy lives in a trash can, but at least it shows you that there is poverty in the world. It seems no matter how you view the show, there's one tune that remains consistent in the minds of viewers, young and old. Hey, Can you tell you. me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> so even after 40 years, the search to get to Sesame Street never ends. George Solis, WUFT News.